Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, I am going to show you how to make 10 cards and a whole lot of gift tags using items from the new Christmas Magic Collection by Doodlebug Designs. So let's just jump right into it and get started with the first card. So one of the things that I wanted to do when using this collection was kind of use up any um, extra card making supplies that I had on hand and I had these extra winter prism die cuts from a honeybee stamps video that I had done last week and I thought it would be a good time to use them up. So one of the morals of this card making video is that if you're trying to make some quick and easy Christmas cards, why don't you just go through all the random spare pieces of um, you know projects of pieces of projects that maybe you didn't end up using and see if you can use that as a starting point for your Christmas card making so that's what I did for the base of this first card um, I just took those winter prism die cuts that I'd already cut and used them as my background and then I cut a sentiment or I embossed a sentiment from a lawn fawn stamp set that says Merry Christmas. And I think I'm gonna use a few sentiments from Lawn Fawn for this video. The Santa's Sweets stamp set from Doodlebug didn't have many sentiments on it that I felt I could use for Christmas cards and the paper pack didn't really have many sentiments either. So I had to kind of go outside and find something else that worked. Um, but I just love this little gingerbread doodle pop that is the focus of this card. So it was really easy. I just took that sticker, popped it on, embossed a sentiment, and then just added those little heart stickers that were also included with the gingerbread house doodle pop. And there's card one. All right, so moving on to card two, I still had some more spare pieces of those winter prism die cuts. So I decided to use them up for card two. And the very base of um, this card is a piece of the pattern paper from the Doodlebug Christmas Magic 6x6 paper pack. And then this little green rectangle is a leftover from one of the frames that we're going to use for another card later on in this video. So I thought that we could turn it into um, a little piece to use for card two. And just to decorate the rectangle a little bit, I'm just adding some white dots with my gel pen and then I'm going to put some dimensional adhesive on the back or foam tape and then stick that on the center of the card and then this is also a sentiment from Lawn Fawn that I embossed off screen and I'm just taking a little strip of that pattern paper from the Doodlebug paper pack and layering that and then here's our little Christmas cake that we colored in the last video. If you're interested in learning how to color the images in the Santa's Magic stamp set, just watch the video that I published right before this one. And then we're gonna decorate with some of the little holly leaves and holly berries from the Doodlebug um, sticker set. That's part of the Christmas Magic release and that's it. So now moving on to card three, I took a snowflake stencil this is from Honey Bee Stamps, but I think any snowflake stencils that you have would work here. And I took some sky blue cardstock and then some white pigment ink, and I'm just gonna ink in those snowflakes with that Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment e Ink. And for Christmas this year, I'm really liking the idea of just inking white pigment ink over colored cardstock. It just, it gives a really, really pretty um, look to things almost kind of like otherworldly or um, ethereal. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. And now I'm gonna just pull up the stencil and you'll see how pretty that looks with our little white snowflakes. And it works best if you don't ink um, everything evenly, if you have some dark spots and then some faded spots. And then I'm using this frame from Lawn Fawn and I cut the frame out with some glitter cardstock and then I'm just tying some red and white twine into a bow and now I'm trying to figure out what the design is going to be and I decided to take a piece of the pattern paper from the Christmas magic paper pack and cut it into a little strip and then add that to the center of the card and now we're going to place our little center panel a little bit 
off center and we're going to take one of the Christmas tags that you can cut out of the six by six Christmas magic paper pack. And I'm adding one of these little Christmas tree brads to the back. And I think that's so pretty. And then I'm going to put my little twine bow right where that little mistletoe bow is. I'm just going to press that in for a second. I was using glossy accents to adhere it. And then I'm gonna take these white Blizzard Nouveau drops and just dot the little mistletoe berries just to give it a little bit more color. And I just love how this card looks. I think it's just so pretty and sweet and an unexpected color combination as well. Okay, so now moving on to card number four, I cut out another frame from that Lawn Fawn die. And I'm just going to attach some acetate to the back of that and then peel off the paper. And I didn't um, get it on there directly, so I just cut off the excess. And this is gonna be a shaker card, so I'm just using some Darice thin strips of adhesive. They're already pre-cut, makes it great and easy if you have really tiny thin areas like I have on this frame die that you need dimensional adhesive for. And I'm just gonna stick that all around and even on the little cross in the center because I want each little box to have its own section of sequins if we didn't put the dimensional adhesive in the middle and on the, um, yeah, in the, in the middle basically, then the sequins would fall to the bottom and it would look like you had a whole bunch of sequins in two of the boxes and almost none in two of the other. So you'll see what I mean in a second. Just gonna finish applying my adhesive. This part is a little bit of a labor of love. It takes a little bit of time. You have to cut a lot of the little pieces just to get it to fit just right. And now I'm gonna run my anti-static powder tool along the edges of the tape to make sure that they're not tacky so that the sequins don't stick to the sides. And then these are some Christmas sequins from Honey Bee Stamps. And I'm just making sure I have an equal amount in each of the four little um, rectangles. I peeled the tape off. And I'm gonna put the backing on now. And the backing is a piece of pattern paper from that Christmas Magic pattern paper set. I'm gonna cut this little tag out. This tag is from the Christmas Magic pattern paper. Use my piercing tool to make a little hole. And then I'm gonna put my bratty, my Christmas tree bratty through there. But first I'm gonna add some twine and to make it easier to get the twine through, I just threaded it with a really wide, um, wide eyed needle. And then I tied my red and green twine together into a bow, added the brad, and then I'm gonna just attach that right to the center, add the little candy cane that we colored in the earlier video, as well as the gumdrop on the side. And I think this card looks good. So this is a real nice, quick and easy, simple design. And I love how those little sequins look in the little shaker pouches there. For the fifth card, I took another Lawn Fawn frame die. This is the one that's in portrait. The two that we've seen so far, the landscape version of the same die. And I'm gonna stamp this joyful wishes sentiment also from Lawn Fawn with some Versamark ink, and then we're going to use white embossing powder. I'm using Lawn Fawn white embossing powder. It's my favorite one. And I'm gonna heat set that, and I just love how the white embossing powder looks on that bright red cardstock. I'm gonna add some acetate to the back because this is gonna be another shaker card. And now, because we have a little bit more room on this one, I'm using my wider uh, my wider foam tape, and then I just cut it, it to cut it to the thin strips. Now the reason I didn't use the Doris for the thin parts and then the regular 3M foam tape for the larger areas is because they're not the same dimension. So my card would look lumpy if I did that. So whenever you're using foam tape, I always recommend use the same type of a foam tape throughout your project just to make sure that everything is even and lines up well. These are just some little clear sequins for our little pouches. And 
Then the little Santa faces are from the Christmas Magic pattern paper set. This is a little hot cocoa doodle pop, which I just love. I think it's so cute. And I'm just going to stick that right in the center of our card. And I think that makes a perfect, nice and simple Christmas card. Moving on to card number six. This frame is from Mama Elephant. And I'm going to add that to a piece of the pattern paper and then attach it all to a card base. And I'm using one of the little leftover pieces from my Lawn Fawn frame. And this is also another leftover piece. And I'm gonna glue them onto the cardstock in a little bit of a wonky fashion. I'm gonna take a sentiment from the pattern paper pack and add it to a little strip of the pattern paper, the candy cane stripe pattern paper, which I just love. I love candy cane stripes as an accent for Christmas cards. And I'm just gonna apply that towards the bottom and just make sure that it is behind those little rectangles. And then I'll cut off the extra. I always flip my cardstock over when I need to cut off um, any excess paper to make sure that I get the cleanest cut. And then we're gonna add this little Christmas roll as our focal image and then some glossy accents to the little cherry that's on top there. And there we have it. So again, another nice and simple, quick and easy Christmas card, mostly made using scraps for that one. Now for card seven, this is also Lawn Fawn frame and a Lawn Fawn sentiment. And we're going to stamp this with Versamark ink, just like we did with the others, making sure I get a good impression. And then I'm just heat setting that white embossing powder. It says happy holidays. I just love how the white looks on that pale pink card stock. And then this pattern paper backing is from the Christmas Magic pattern paper pack. And now I think we're gonna put a gingerbread house in the middle and I'm just showing you like what it looks like if you were to use the doodle pop versus the little um, image that we colored in with the Santa's Sweets stamp set. I'm gonna just pop that up on some foam tape and just apply it right in the center. And then add these two little hearts that we had colored and cut out in the last video. Put some glossy accents on top to make them pop a little bit. And then we're gonna color in the frosting on the gingerbread house and some of the little candies with the glossy accents as well, just to make them pop as well. And I think that this is a really cute card. I think that this would be perfect for a little girl, a little girl at Christmas. Um, and I'm just gonna finish adding glossy accents to the gumdrops and a little bit on the doorknob. And then that is gonna do it for this card. And then moving on to the next card, this one has a candy cane stripe theme. So I cut out a frame. This is another Lawn Fawn frame on some glitter white cardstock. I think this is Sugar Crystal Cardstock by Tonic. And then that pattern paper in the back is from the Christmas Magic Paper Pack. I'm gonna attach it to a card base. And then here is another one of the little images that we had colored in the previous video. I'm just gonna pop that up and add it right to the center. And then I'm gonna take this little sentiment strip that is included in the paper pack and pop it up on the tiniest bit of foam and then place that right underneath our little focal image. And it says, here comes Santa Claus. And I think that's just such a sweet, simple card. And then we're just gonna add some glossy accents to the holly berry and to the little candies and the gingerbread man, and then the candy cane. So the only thing we're not adding the glossy accents to here are the leaves. I think that's just so pretty. This one might be my favorite, I think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments which of the cards is your favorite as well. Now I'm gonna cut out some pattern paper for card number nine. I love these hearts pattern paper. I love this design. I think it's so unexpected for Christmas, but still so perfect. It has me excited for Valentine's Day. 
Um, even though I know we're just kind of near the beginning of the Christmas card making season, I do, I think Valentine's Day is probably my favorite season to make cards for. I'm going to add some foam tape. This is that Doris thin strip foam tape to the back here. For this one, I'm not, we don't need to section off each of the little sections. I just did it by row just so that there's a little bit of sequins kind of floating around in each of the little areas so it doesn't all settle to the bottom. And these are some um, Christmas sequin mix that I just had on hand. It's from a long, long time ago. It might be from when I started card making three years ago. I'm not sure. But I'm um, just going to add the pattern paper to the back. And that just looks so pretty. I love the little snowmen and the little snowflakes in there. And then for our focal image, I'm going to layer a few pieces of basically little scrap paper that I had. And I'm going to take some red twine and run that through the gift tag using my needle to make it easier to get through the little hole. And now we're going to layer our tag on top of our candy stripe paper. And then we'll layer that on top at an angle onto our little pink square. And again, these are all just scraps from cards that we'd already made in this video or um, from projects that I had made recently. I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape right in the center. And I just love how that looks. I think it's another nice, clean design. It came together really, really quickly. I'm going to add the little peppermints on two of the windows. And then two of the small peppermints onto the focal image in the center there. And then I thought it needed a little something else. So I'm going to put that lollipop that we had colored in in last video off to the side. And then add some glossy accents over top just to make it pop a little bit. And that does it for this card. Moving on to card number 10. This is our last card before we get into the gift tags. I'm gonna take again another um, Christmas tree pattern paper from the Christmas Magic pattern paper pack. This little sentiment is also from that pattern paper pack as are all these little papers that I'm layering together for the sentiment. I'm gonna pop them up on some foam tape and then add it towards the bottom. So at this point in the card making, I'm really trying to use all of those images that I had colored in earlier and trying to use as many of the little scraps that I have left over as possible. And I'm gonna color in the little cherry with some white blizzard Nouveau drops. And then the little buttons on the gingerbread man. I'm going to use the blizzard drops there as well. And then that looks good. So this is our last card. And now let's move on to make some gift tags. So in each of the pattern paper packs, there are you get two pages of gift tags. And I think it's 18 gift tags on each um, sheet. So you just cut them apart. And then you cut off the little edges like I'm doing here on the top. And then you have this perfect shaped gift tag and it's also printed on the back as well. So you have a little picture on the front and a little sentiment and then on the back it's blank and you can stamp your to and from on the back of the gift tag. The Santa's Sweets stamp set that Doodlebug just released includes a sentiment that says to and another one that says from and we're going to use those to stamp the sentiments on our cards as soon as I'm done cutting off these little edges. This is a great project to sit in front of the TV and just mass produce. You could get through, I think, 36 of them if you cut out all two sheets of gift tags in the paper pack. And then you're probably done. You probably don't need any more gift tags for your, for your holiday gifts unless you have a really, really big family um, or unless you like to give lots and lots of presents. So for the two, I'm going to use this red lobster ink by Lawn Fawn. And then for the from, I'm going to use the freshly cut grass. Or maybe it's just called fresh grass by Lawn Fawn. And now I'm just going to, I'm in mass production mode. So I'm going to do all my twos at once for the remaining tags. And then I'm going to do all of my froms. 
I'm just working quickly here. And I'm just using all of the tags that we had left over from our 10 cards. So there were a few cards where we used the tags. And then whatever's left over, I'm just making into a traditional gift tag. Now I'm stamping the from. And as you can see, this comes together really, really quickly. And they're just so sweet looking. So in a second, we're going to add some twine. I'm going to show you how I did that. So I purchased these two large... Um, containers or canisters, I can't think of the right word for them, but rolls, maybe rolls, yeah. Two large rolls of twine, one in red and one in green, and I thought that that should get me through the Christmas card making season, and I'm just gonna cut them maybe about by six or eight inches each, and then I'm gonna get my embroidery needle with a wide eye, and I'm gonna thread a piece of twine through each of those. And to make the hole in the center of the tag, I just use my um, piercing tool. I think if you have a small um, hole puncher, that would work as well, but I don't have one of those, so I just use my piercing tool and it worked fine. And because we're gonna put such thick twine through the center of the hole, you don't really see the ragged edges that the um, paper piercing tool leaves behind. And then I just tied it at both ends. And now I have a gift tag that is ready to go onto a gift. I'm just gonna do a couple more just so that you get the idea. And then we can move on and take one last look at all the cards and all of the tags that we created in this video. And here are all the tags that I put together. I only put together about five of them for now. Um, I wanted to make sure that I got this video um, up and live so that it's in time for the premiere tonight at 9 p.m. If you are tuning in during the premiere, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you had fun chatting with others during the premiere. All right, so let's take one last look at the cards. So here are the first two cards that we had made in no particular order. I just, the order that I grabbed them. I love this third card with the little Christmas cinnamon roll. And then this fourth card with our little snowflakes that we inked on with pigment ink. Um, here's our little Doodle Pop gingerbread house card with a winter prism die by Honeybee Stamps in the background. Another gingerbread house. And then this little cup of cocoa with the gingerbread man and the little candy cane. Another Christmas cake. And then moving on to our Noel card, which is a shaker card with a great Christmas confetti sequins on the inside. And then our last card, our little Christmas tree card with a gingerbread man and a little cupcake. And then finally, the little tags that we had made as well. And I'm gonna flip some of them over so you can see the two from, and then some I'll leave facing forward so you can see the the little sentiment on the tag. So that's all I have for you now, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this video inspires you to get going with your holiday card making and gift tag making. And I would love to hear from you in the comments as to which of the cards you like best. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.